When you live on an island, it's hard not to notice the ocean and beaches around you. For most of us, we pass by a beach every single day. And if there is a tiny change made to any of the beaches, we see it immediately. Our coasts are constantly changing and have been doing so for years. Our grandparents and parents would have witnessed beaches in some parts of the island get smaller and smaller and in some cases even disappear. Coastal erosion, which is the wearing away of coastal land, occurs due to the effects of wave action on the shoreline and cliffs. The Coastal Zone Management Unit carried out a shoreline chain study and found that as 10% of our coastline is eroding, only 2% was growing. At that current rate, the ocean is getting closer and closer to our doorsteps, having a serious effect on the spaces where we live, play and conduct business. This study also showed that the area between Sandy Lane St. James and the cement plant in St. Lucie is the most vulnerable when it comes to coastal erosion. These findings are being shared with our partners as well as stakeholders in these vulnerable areas to encourage replacement of lost sand and safeguard the coastline from further erosion. Such protective activities include the installation of coastal barriers as seen through the whole town waterfront and the Welch's Beach Improvement Projects to protect properties from erosion and the impact of high wave energy. The Coastal Zone Management Unit has also conducted a sediment transport study and has found that the sand production on the southeast coast is instrumental to the resilience of the entire south coast. In light of this, they are keeping a close eye on how sand moves along the south coast from Ragged Point in St. Philip to Needham's Point in St. Michael. How we develop our coastline is very important to the prevention of coastal erosion. Because of structures along the west and the southwest coast of the island, the beaches there are prone to coastal squeeze, where the beach becomes narrower and steeper. Usually, when the sea level rises, the sand moves inland. If the beach is backed by hard structures, like a wall or a building, then the sand has nowhere to go, and eventually it forms a ridge. This highlights the importance of coastal development setbacks and policies. You and I can help the Coastal Zone Management Unit in small ways to build our defense against coastal erosion by not removing plants and trees from the beach as these can help stabilize our coasts and make the movement of sand inland easier. We may not be able to stop the tide from coming in, but we definitely do not have to go with the flow when it comes to coastal erosion.